Hi everyone, in this video, I'd like to introduce you to a new feature of Moat that enables you to add your voice to Google Forms. So if you've never heard of Moat before, Moat is a Chrome extension that empowers teachers and students to add voice notes and feedback to documents on Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, and Google Classroom. If you don't already have Moat installed, then head over to justmoat.me and then select the Add to Chrome button here. And then once you've done that, you'll see a new Moat icon appear at the top of your Chrome window. Okay, so now let's switch over to Google Forms. So I've already just started a form here. And you'll notice down here, we already have a Moat icon on Google Forms because we have the extension installed. So all I need to do is press this button and now I can start talking and add my voice to this question. And when I'm done, all I need to do is press done. It will think for a second, and now it's added a link to my moat. But if we preview this form, you'll see that because I've got the moat extension installed, it will turn that moat link into a nicely rendered card, and I can hit play here and hear myself back. Okay, now let's try adding another type of question. So let's add a question, and let's make this one a short answer question. And let's call this one question two. And now let's record a new moat and press done. Okay, now let's preview this form again. So now I can see two moat cards with the audio feedback I've added to this form, but I also see that I have a moat icon in the question answer. So this lets a student or user who's filling out your form leave verbal feedback and respond to you. So now what I need to do is click record and give a verbal answer. And when I'm done, press done. And now let's submit this form. Okay, so it's recorded my response. Now, if we switch back to Google Forms, go to Responses, and I can see my responses in here. There's a moat link here to listen back to the verbal answer. But another way of doing this is if we scroll back up and let's make a response sheet and press Create. So this sheet will dynamically update with all the responses from the form. And if I hover over the moat link in question two, so the response which came back, then I get this nicely rendered card and I can quickly play back responses from Google Sheets. So I think this Moat update is going to be really useful for all teachers who want to add audio to forms, but particularly for languages teachers uh, setting up a listening quiz or test. Likewise, it could be really useful for music teachers because it doesn't just have to be your voice which is recorded. It could be an instrument or music. And also the ability for students to record their voice as responses to your forms or quizzes opens up numerous options. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please do hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.